Hey, Kim, I have a quick question. I wonder if other Sync to CRM users are having, especially if we're new. You had challenged us in one of the first three sessions to uh, put up two lead ads just to get some experience in Facebook advertising. So I did that. And the question that I have is when I check this ad, uh, let's just go to the preview, and I go to the permalink, like you said, and my ad appears. When I click this sign up button, I would expect that the, it would take me to the exact same process that my viewers, Facebook viewers would see so that it would go to the context card. The context card would then go to the form and then the form would eventually send people to my website. But when I do it in the trial, and I click this sign up button. It sends me right to the end of the process, which is directly to my website. So I'm wondering if that's what people see on Facebook. And if not, how do I know what they're seeing that they're going actually to the context card and then to the form? Uh, or if I just have to trust Facebook. So if you had an answer for that, if you could quickly address at our next uh, meeting, that would be super. Thanks, Kim. Bye-bye. Now, yeah, uh, actually, that's funny. I actually did the same thing and I, when I first started, and I couldn't figure it out. So I sort of laughed when I saw your video. So here's the deal. Here's what that's coming from, Connie. You can only fill out a, you and or anyone, can only fill out a lead ad once. So the reason it's doing that is because you've already tested that lead ad. And if you or anyone else comes back to and clicks it a second time, it's grayed out like that. And when you click it, it, it takes you to the website, the same link that you put in the lead ad when you said, you know, uh, when they completed the lead ad, there's a section that says if they want to click the button to go to your website, you know, where do you take them? That's where it goes after they've filled it out once. So in order to um, test a lead ad and now so here's another trick for you and I can't even tell you how long I have been if you look at my ads manager you will see that I've made 50 bazillion copies of lead ads testing sync to CRM and not until longer than I'm I'm care to admit did I discover this little tool right here and this was made for developers but it's also very handy for you guys as well for a situation just like that I'll put this in the um, in the chat so you have it. So what what this does is if I go to I take my page and I take the form. So just as an example right here, let me make this bigger. so You guys can see it right here. If I say preview form, um, that one actually has not been submitted. That's a bad example. Let me go to a different one. Yeah, that one has. So see here, it says a lead has already been created for this form. I've already filled that form out. To preview the form, please delete this one. Delete the lead, which who knew I could do that? So now I just delete that lead, me, the lead I created. And now when I go to preview form, it pops up the form and it will let me fill it out again. And I can fill it out the same one again and again and again and again. And the other, and the other thing, um, so that is really a time saver, especially if you're like me and you've probably created a hundred or 200 lead ads, um, for <laughs> CRM testing. Um, but the other thing is, and just this should make it obvious when you are testing, you do not have to, your information will pop up the first time. Oh boy, did I get a bunch of comments on that one? Uh, will pop up the first time, but you can replace your information with anything you want and and submit it and it will actually remember it the next time as well. Um, so that will help you with testing your lead ads. Hope that helped.